Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use N to view a dynamic web application with a clip. I need to create a new dynamic web project. I will run on Tomcat. I just create a JSP file. Okay, and then save list. Just want to clear everything here. Okay, I only use one do get method to do this testing. Okay, I want to clean and view the project. I want to show the server window. Okay, now I will restart it. Try again. Yeah, that's it. Okay, sometimes you need to clear the cache and then try again and then it should be okay. Mm. I will show you how it works here. You can go to the server.xml here. You can check here. You know where you should find the source code from here. Okay. Now I will show you. I just try to go to the works, workspace folder. Okay, here you see the metadata plugins. It should be in here. Uh, org dot eclipse dot wts wst server and core. Oh, sorry. And tem zero should be this one and here. Let me modify something and save it. And this time I will run on a standard browser. Okay, this is support by the Eclipse, but I want you to manually deploy this one. So, with the same thing, you also need a view file as the Java project that I showed in the previous video. Now I need to add that. Okay, just copy 
copy the content and I will explain for you later on. I call it view.xml and hit the content. And I want to add this one to and now I would need to show others. And here I added okay. Uh, there are three targets here add user clean to clean all the folder stuff. This should be this one. And now I try to run this one to compile. And you see some error, right? Because we don't have the server lead folder. So I just copy that over just to create the folder. And we will explain you why we need this folder. Okay, now I run again. Yes. Lucky we have another error here. Now this one because it's need the surplus and API and, and JSP API to compile. Uh, so we need to find that. And where you should find that, you should find that in Tomcat folder. So just open it. You need this to file. And I just copy here. See that? Okay, now I will run again. Should be fine. Okay, now I will run. I want to see in this folder. Okay, you see the structure is like JSP file here. Here the manifest file. And then here we have lib folder. If you have any libraries, you can put it here and it's copy over. This one classes. So flat here, right? Okay. Now I will explain this file for you. This one to clean all the deployment folder and files. For this one, we need the child target is clean. This depends here. Uh, we create the web web application structure here, and this one is to compile all the classes, and then we copy over to this folder, and this attribute is to like an option that you want to run a debug here if you put kind of a breakpoint here so you can debug and if if you don't have, need to debug you just remove this attribute okay this one is we use the library in this folder and this one we use to because normally we don't need to copy this uh, uh, JSP and surplus library because it's built in Tomcat so we don't need to add this library to the folder that's why we need to create here just for N to and get the library to compile the, and, and build the web folder. And to this one is we copy all the web content file to the build file. And this one, we copy all the, the lead to the lead folder. And the last target is to build the word file is just call the compile target and then you just create a, a file name demo.war and then 
this this means it's like web archive file and then you put to the this folder here okay now i will show you how to point the server to the our custom my folder that we deploy there okay this one it should be in this file now you want to change this one to build folder this one is not necessary so i will remove it okay so i want to make sure it run here so i come over to this one and then i change the content a bit and now uh, we need to restart the server okay now we can try again see and if i can i want to change the part of the this one we call a contact the part of the, the application let's say day two and then we also need to restart the server okay let me try this one Okay, that is okay. One more thing. I will run this one for you and you can see. Okay, here yeah. you see is how to deploy the world file as well. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.